Where is it? <gasps> Hi guys, it's a Dust Dinosaur 27 here, and today I'm going to be making a video on Air of Terror. I'm going to be playing as a Serato, as requested by Yaelin, and I'm also going to be filming a series or just a video, a uh, 101 about how to survive an Air of Terror, and a bunch of tips for beginners, requested by LG, I believe his name is. LG Plays. I'm not 100% sure it could be an I, but I'm just gonna say LG. There's been some updates since I last played. Apparently, Tarchia gains more food from eating, Tarchia hitbox fixed, water splash fixed, nesting fixed, classic night vision added back, Tyrannosaurus vocals travel further, Stegosaurus screen shake removed. That's all of the updates so far, and I'm really excited because nesting's working again. Let's go ahead and play. Alright, I believe this is by the river. Yeah, there we are. This is by Plains where I spawned in. And there's also a bunch of food carcasses nearby, so we don't really need to worry about food unless someone already like took the carcasses. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about for surviving Air of Tear is water sources. There's a lot of different water sources in the Air of Terror, but you just want to know where they are or they're no use. You want to know where all the water sources are because water is obviously a big factor in surviving as a dinosaur. So this is the river. It's by the swamp. I don't really like know how to explain it very well, but there's like redwoods over here. Then there's a swamp right here, and then the river leads up to planes. I wouldn't recommend going to the swamp since there's dinos and spinas that will eat you. And one time when I was drinking in this river, a dino actually came up the river and killed me. So apparently they can climb up the river from the swamp. But anyways, if you see this waterfall thingy, waterfall thingy, go around it because you can't really climb up it. And once you go around it, you will see that it leads up this little waterfall thing. And out here is the plains. If you go straight, leads to Redwoods and Redwoods Pond and the swamp. Usually a lot of herbivores hang out in plains because it's safer than Redwoods, I feel like. I feel like a lot of carnivores go to Redwoods. Since aliens added in the carcasses that are close to planes, I feel like you'll get a lot of apexes here. I'll show you where the carcasses are, but uh, here's a dead mage. Well, now we have our food. I would have an idea of where a river is because it's really important to not die of thirst. But then it's also important not to die from hunger. So yeah, now I have food and water and I'll just hang around here. Another tip I want to talk about is playing a lot of different dinosaurs and especially when you're a beginner you want to be familiar with all of the different calls of the dinosaurs. You want to make sure that you know all of the different calls of the dinosaurs so that you can avoid certain ones like the Rex or aloes or spinos and dinos, you know what I mean? Just so that when you hear a sound you're not like going to it because <laughs> you think it's food, like it could be an apex. Also play as a variety of dinosaurs so you know that if you, you know, fall off a cliff you won't die. And you also, like I said, want to know the calls like from baby to adult, you know, you want to know the difference so that you know if you can take down that animal or not. Another thing I want to talk about is this purple bar. If you're new to the game, you probably don't know what it is like I did, but it's your growth. And then there's, you know, reset and you just help and it will show you all of the controls that you use. So when you're chatting, some dinosaurs, if you're walking or running, you can just click the slash while you're walking, see, and you can type like blah, blah, blah. 
So that would be really good if you need to type or say something really fast while you're walking. Some dinosaurs, like the newer ones, don't allow you to do that. Um, AKA the Rex, the Trike, I don't know, I think maybe the Stego, I'm not completely sure. Another important thing that I want to show you, I don't know if it really says this, does it? It does. To move faster or run faster while you're walking, you want to press Z. So usually it's slow like this, but you want to press Z so you move faster. And then when you run, you'll run faster too. And also you want to not call. The more you call, the more you're giving out your location and the more people are like, oh, that's a baby. But you could also use calls as your advantage, like if you're an adult Rex, you can call and scare off predators. You can use the slash instead of like coming out and like going like this. You can use the slash instead. It's a lot easier. I don't really know if there's anything else to talk about. If you're a baby, any kind of baby, a carnivore or herb, and it's nighttime, you probably want to like hide so they can't find you. Right now I'm hearing an aloe, and it probably will go for that mosh, but I'm not entirely sure. Also, another thing I actually want to talk about is packs or herds. The more people you have in your herd or in your pack, the more likely that you'll survive. And also, if you're a baby, I recommend herding or packing up with some people, but because it's hard to survive on your own. I guess we can talk about combat. I'm not the best at combat, but I kind of know a couple of tricks. Like hitboxes, you want to know where the hitboxes are, which I'm not entirely sure myself. You can kind of experiment with that. Um, aliens actually said that if you left click as a stego, that attack gives more damage than the right click. Usually, you want to get behind a slow dinosaur so that you can tell it. You don't want to be in its face or else it's going to hurt you more. And also, when you're attacking things and you're bleeding, try not to run because it makes you bleed out. And if you're bleeding, just try to rest. Once it's day, I'm going to go ahead and show you where the carcasses are. I'm going to show you your redwoods, plains, and the swamp. Oh, and the desert. Oh, yay, I grew. And also, when you're bigger, I believe you can see farther. The fastest dinosaur in game, Alien says, was the Sub Rex. And we don't have scent in this game, but Aliens was talking about adding it, so hopefully it'll be added. And then you can track people, because right now you just go based on sound, and that's about it. Oh, good, it's day. I can show you some things now. The river, and then if you go this way, there's a desert that has carcasses, carcasses that aliens added, and also there's carcasses in redwoods, just so you know. This is where a carcass would be. Oh, but the aloe ate it, and there's a big aloe family. Okay, well, I think we should leave. I think I'll come back when I'm adult, because I don't trust that. Let's go to redwoods, because I want to show you that, and also show you the plains. Oh no, it's not coming after me, is it? Where is it? <gasps> Hi! <laughs> Hi, Mr. Spino. You really spooked me there. Well, that could really kill me. That's a little alarming. Okay, so here's the planes, and there's also- Oh, carcasses out here. <gasps> the baby is so cute! Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I love the baby tricks. Don't come for me, please. I know that there's a carcass over here somewhere. And also, if you want to regenerate stand faster, just lay down. I believe only the trike can attack when it's laying down. So now I'm going to Redwoods, and it's just across the plains. So over here, there's Redwoods Pond, and then there's also a swamp connected to this Redwoods. Okay, so when you come down here, there's usually a carcass, but I don't see it. I think I'm going the right way. Oh, there's the Redwoods Pond right there. There is an oasis in Redwoods as well. Over here, you go through this little, I don't know what you call it, ravine, and there's an oasis over here. With a cool little waterfall, and you can go in the cave behind it. It's really beautiful here. Let's see, I want to show you the inside here. Oh gosh. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, guys, that was a miracle. Also, another tip, you want to make sure that you don't waste your stamina when you're not running from something or trying to catch something. I always try to keep my stamina like halfway. Yeah, be careful when running over these rocks. You can really hurt yourself. This is the oasis. This is where I just came from. A carcass. So let's eat this. And another tip, make sure you're frequently looking around you just to make sure that nothing sneaks up on you. Let's see if I can make a nest. I'm gonna hide my nest right here in the tree. Pretty sure if you sit on your nest, the eggs come up faster, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, I got eggs now. Oh, they found Redwood's Pond. They're gonna be our dinner, Tachia. And there's a little fairy. Can we go eat that mod? Ah, there's Alice. Oh, uh, hi. Here's the swamp. Tartia?
these little oasis type lights. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!